Hey there spacers, I'm Kato Genesis, and welcome to a guide to the Outer Worlds. For this one, we're looking at a unique weapon called the Shock Stick. In this no-nonsense guide, I'll be showing you where you can find the Shock Stick and what it can do for you. Let's get started. The Emerald Veil is the first place that you arrive in the Outer Worlds. In spite of that, it also has plenty of things to collect, including the aforementioned Shock Stick. Just a heads up, obtaining this involves a side quest called Die Robot. This quest is started from Ludwig, who is patrolling the landing pad outside of Edgewater. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. Ludwig will send you on multiple tasks, the first involving just slaying a robot outside of Edgewater, then to pick up a package containing a quote-unquote secret weapon in Edgewater's cantina, then finally going to the geothermal plant, which is on the northwestern side of the map, to then retrieve a robot's logic module. In order to get said module, you need to be a little ways into the main quest. By a little ways, I just mean speaking to the mayor of Edgewater. Go down to the geothermal plant. After which point you can access the entirety of the geothermal plant, find the security chief's corpse, acquire his keycard, and access the storage room for the module. Do all of these things and return to Ludwig, and he will reward you with some bits as well as the shock stick. I would reward you with the gratitude of the resistance, but I'm guessing you want something tactile. So here's a couple of bits for your trouble, and a little something to remember me by. That's the process in which to get it, now let's go over what it does. The TNL Shock Stick is a unique variant of the Stun Baton, and its simple description reads, The Shock Stick has been modified to swing faster and hit harder. And the two said modifications are listed just below it. The Speed Grip, which increases melee attack speed by 15%, and the Mr. Ouch modification, which increases the power attack damage by 20%. Both of these are just automatic modifiers to the Shock Stick, and when compared to a regular Stun Baton, those appear to be the only main aspects that have changed, so directly affecting the damage per second of the weapon, as well as its power attack damage. This is a good early one-handed melee weapon, which I would recommend getting as soon as possible while you're in the Edgewater area. Not everyone in Edgewater is as giving as Ludwig with weapons that are pre-modified. So take what you can get. So what kind of enemies have you tried the shock stick out on? How is it done for you? And also, how are you? Let me know in the comments. If you found this guide useful, entertaining, or both, do whatever you see fit to show that, and expect more no-nonsense Outer Worlds guides. If you wish to go the extra mile for the channel, the Patreon link is here and in the description. And speaking of supporters, a verbal credit thanks to Wasteland Legend Sven. Thank you so very much for watching. I'm Kato Genesis, and may you wander the Halcyon Colony like you own it.